Russian Irish lines back at Suncorp Stadium. It's been a long time between drinks, and they kick off. And it is the Reds with the red shirt, the shorts, and the white jerseys. And they look to go wide immediately. Oh, high tackle there, a high shot. First penalty, and Frisbee takes it quickly. And out it goes to Rocket Rod Davies. But he's taken there by Ben Youngs. You can, see, Donnie, you can see so far that the Reds up tempo game. They're trying to play, running the British and Irish lines forwards around. Here's Schatz. Terrific intent early on, and Cooper goes long and wide, and he kicks now Morahan, and it stays in the field of play. Great work, Queensland, and good cover there from the tourists, and they're into touch. Listen to the roar of the crowd. What a start! And on the sideline, Rod Kafer and Nathan Sharp. We're both down here, and it's loud and very, very. Great start from the Reds. They're excited. The crowd's excited. There's a little bit of drizzle around here, Clarky, but um, there is some tension around this crowd. Looking for the Reds to win it. They've lost it. Advantage. Look on white. Advantage. So the Lions inside their own 22. Advantage. There's a kick from E. Youngs. Finding touch. Wow, what a start. Disappointing line out for the Reds there, though. They threw exactly to where Jeff Parling was. He turned over the first line out. Morahan with the kick. It was a beautiful kick. Stayed in the field of play. Robinson. Driven back in the tackle. Wallace Harrison getting an opportunity back in the red starting team. Advantage to the Reds now. Jonathan Davis, it was, interfering at the breakdown. 51 metres out right in front. Ray Cooper wants to take it quickly. They're playing an up-tempo game. Tackle made by Felatow on the 10-metre mark. Now it's Greg Holmes. 13 test matches for the Wallabies. Been out of favour in recent years, though. There's a kick over the top from Frisbee. And the bounce is going to favour young Stuart Holt, the Scotsman, and he runs it into touch. So Nathan Sharp, this is an important throw now, an important line out for the Reds. Yeah, hopefully the Reds have le learnt their lesson from that first throw. The Lions looked like they were staying down. Jeff Parling got up early. They need to capitalise early on with this sustained pressure they're putting on the Lions. Jeff Parling again. Sharpie up in front. Yeah, look, look I, I think that's a couple of poor calls there. He's clearly the only guy going up to the Lions, and, and they've thrown to that hot spot both times. Disappointing stuff for the Reds, but the way they're going, they are throwing everything at this game. It's going to be exciting. Sharpie, where would you go now? Your call. Where do you call? Two or the back? Look, I think I think probably in between the back and the middle of the line out there. Jeff Parling, particularly in that line out defence, seems pretty well hot. And once again, he's chased that forward and put pressure on it. Well, it was won by Queensland. It wasn't pretty, though. Ball is out. Hanson. British and Irish Lions really competing at the breakdown to slow the ball down for the Reds. Cooper gives it to... Bo Robinson to the 10 metre mark. Frisbee, Cooper, Kapuahi, straight through. Kapuahi for the corner, good tackle from Hogg though. This is Schatz. Uh, Luke Moynihan couldn't position himself outside Ben Tapawahi. Now it's Cooper, he goes wide over the top. Anthony Fanger gives it out to Davies. Rod Davies cutting back in field. Good scrambling defence by the British and Irish Lions, but the Queenslanders continue to pour on the pressure. It's Frisbee. Oh, and Robinson. Bo Robinson couldn't control it. He's knocked it on. Wow, Anthony Fanger. I thought he should have just pinned his ears back and gone. He was a little bit flat-footed. A lovely pass from Quade Cooper. Attack down the short side. 
Wonderful break, Ben Tapawaii. Luke Moraghan needed to come inside earlier. And there's the pass from Quade Cooper. A lovely ball. Yeah, Anthony Fanga, he might have been picked up by Tua Lange. Rod, Rod Kafer, a wonderful effort from the Reds early on. Oh, they're, they're playing with a great style that we know they can, but the defence has been fantastic. The bench, the Wallabies. The Reds in 2013 in Super Rugby, they've won nine, lost four, and they've drawn two. They're the only team in Super Rugby that hasn't conceded a four-trade bonus point. They've had a top defensive effort tonight as well. Good scrum. They get the penalty. The British and Irish Lions a relieving penalty for them. Vernapula, Youngs and Stevens in the front row. Matt Stevens put an enormous amount of pressure through there. The number three for the British and Irish Lions. I'm sure the Lions have looked at the Reds. And they would have been disappointed after their scrummaging performance against the Force. And tonight, Sharpie, they've really got the bit between the teeth. Yeah, it's a really common Northern Hemisphere ploy. You can see there, they're holding the ball at the back of the scrum. They have dominance up front. They just want to keep going and going and going until the Reds give away a penalty. And that is the easiest way to clear when you're five metres out from your own line. There's a throw in from Tom Youngs. Down to Ben Youngs. 14th set of brothers to play for the British and Irish Lions. The Youngs brothers. Back to Farrell. Quade Cooper. Davies. Hold is taken. And they drive over. And Robinson picks it up for Queensland. Good chase. Rod Davies from his own kick. He was the only one going through to young Stuart Holt. Use it! They'll have to use it quickly here, taking an eternity. Eventually, Ben Daly has a run. Pick and go this time from Ed O'Donoghue. Frisbee. Out to Greg Holmes. Showing his versatilities. Can play on both sides of the front row. Tight head prop tonight. Frisbee. Now Quirk. Cooper. Double pump and getting it on the inside, and it's knocked back, fortunately. And there's an air swing there from Frisbee as he tried to put it on the toe. To Alungi. And Davis got it to Tommy Bow. Over the 10 metre mark, Bow fires one over the bounces. Good for Cuthbert. What about this? Cuthbert for the corner, slams it down. The assistant on the far side said, you better go upstairs to have a look at this one. But the counter-attacking ability was brilliant from inside their own Touch territory. Yes or no? Well, the Reds yes, have had... Can you hear me? Is it a try? Yes or no? The Reds have had 75% of the possession. And as soon as there's a turnover, the counter-attack from the British and Irish Lions. Tua Lange had the vision. And then Tommy Bow just took off. Cuthbert. Uh, he's on the edge. He's out there. Wonderful defensive effort. Late from Luke Moraghan. Alex Cuthbert was run down. But Tommy Bow from Ulster in Ireland. He took off out of the blocks. Missed by Quade Cooper at the back. Remember, the corner post doesn't come into the equation, but definitely out before he grounds the ball. Cuthbert. Luke Moraghan, gee, he made some territory late. <coughs> yeah, no try. The yes. player was in touch. OK, so touch for the white. Correct. OK. No try. No try. Play out. But that gives an indication of just what the British and Irish Lions are capable of with this classy... Set of backs, Tommy Bow. He missed the Six Nations in 2013 through injury. Played all three tests in South Africa in 2009. Good take of the line out from Ed O'Donoghue. 
There's talk that Cuthbert, Bo, and also George North are vying for the two wing spots. Three won't go into two. Space here for Morahan. He kicks again and keeps it in the field of play. Hogg is back there. It is a penalty, though. He was playing advantage for Queensland. Offside seven red. It's against the seven. Sam Warburton, the captain. Offside. That's Nine early, minutes gone. That's an early call, um, Cave, isn't it? I think the Reds would have probably much preferred to be back on the seven halfway, but let the advantage play. The Hog did well retrieving the ball, got back. A little bit of footwork, used a small space near the touchline. Now the Reds, this line out sharp, he has been under pressure every throw, but they go bail out at the front. Yeah, they've got that set up there. But you can see there, there's just pressure on all their delivery lines pouring through. Now it was Youngs that cleaned up. That was the hooker, Tom. Now the big Scotsman. Oh, they're setting up to go wide left too with decoy runners. Falatau had to dive on the ball. And they might have turned it over. No, it's still in the hands of Falatau. Yes, they have turned it over now. Queensland and Frisbee gets it out to Anthony Fanga. Keeps it low and sends it down past the fullback, Stuart Hogg. Man from the Glasgow Rangers. Brilliant work, Hogg. And he's got support out here in Davis. Davis to Tualangi. Youngs. Hogg again. And now Matt Stevens just over halfway. Owen Farrell wants it quick right. That's it. He gets it. And there's the chip from Farrell. And it's overcooked. It's out on the full. We come back to around about the halfway mark. Now, Owen Farrell had about five players to his right. And I reckon he wanted the, the ball about a second earlier because he had a lot of numbers. He had Fallatow out there. Lydia as well. Just panicked a little bit, Owen Farrell. Bit of a nothing kick, really. There wasn't much space in behind. Tim, just that light bit of drizzle falling down here. I've got the volley up on Sharpie's head, so it doesn't wet it too much, but um, just a little bit making it slippery. Sharpie, as we see now, a five-man line-out from the Queensland Reds, so they're starting to mix it up a little bit at line-out time. Yeah, they've gone to a bit more bit more movement there. I think the, the direct throws probably won't have the effect they want against a very tall line. So as you can see, Paul delivery again. Poor pass that time from Quirk back to Quade Cooper and the lines pour in, but it's going to come back for the Queenslanders. Lucas up from fullback, shoveling it out now to Schatz, the number eight. At some stage here, Quade Cooper has to start playing some field position with a little bit of light drizzle. Up on my weight. And that's what from can rest. happen. You get turnovers in your own half. The ball injury, becomes slippery. The, the other thing that the Queensland really blood need to start injury. getting on top of is, is the fact that their line-out is not giving the opportunity to get over the vantage line for the first injury. phase. All the delivery's been either turned over or sloppy, and when you start from behind the vantage line, it's very hard to reignite from there and get back on the front foot. And if they're going to run from everywhere, they need that to be spot on. Their source of possession has to be very good. Vuna Pyle the number one for the British and Irish Lions. His dad played for Tonga in the 95 and 99 World Cups. Yeah, he's a cousin of the number eight, Toby Fellatow. At one stage, they grew up in the same household in Wales. Both the fathers moving to Wales to get their rugby. Huge scrum. Huge scrum for the Lions. And here's a penalty to the British and Irish Lions. You want the pressure? Gee, Nathan Sharp, they've got some pressure coming through as an eight, haven't they? With the scrum time, they're not splintering at all. Yeah, look, they've identified that area clearly, and, and they're going to see it every time they a scrum, they get the ball, they're going to see an opportunity to disrupt the Reds' possession, or they're going to go for penalties like this. You can see it there, clear as day. Again, the ball trapped at number eight's feet, they just kept going and going and going until the referee blew a penalty. Yeah. That, is a, that is a really common play in, in the Northern Hemisphere if a team feels as though it has scrum yeah. dominance. They will just try and tip yeah. the scoreboard over whenever they get down the centre field. The so, Sharpie, job. what happens there? Do you go quick channel one ball as much as you can? Look, yeah. when you're defending, you just really need to, you really need to counter that, that drive. You, get, you have to know that they're going to scrummage for 5, 10, 15 seconds, whatever it takes, and you've got to hold that scrum steady. It's, it's more when they have the ball, Timmy, that, that causes the issue because they're in control, they're waiting for the penalty to come their way. Owen Farrell, 21 years of age. 
from Saracens, son of uh, one of the assistant coaches, Andy Farrell. Nominated for the 2012 IRB Player of the Year. And there's his first strike. No problem. The Lions lead by three points to their 14th minute. That's better from Owen Farrell. A bit of a nervous start from him in attack. He's made a couple of really good hits defensively. He needs to start to get into the rhythm of this game. Warburton, no problem so far on the injured knee. The tour captain. The Queensland Reds got a split kick off. They've got forwards left and right, so Quade Cooper just working out which way to go. been claimed by James Hansen for Queensland. Good field position. Chance for them to hit back at Quade Cooper. Puts it on the toe. Came off one of the Lions players. Cleaned up by Falatau. There wasn't a lot of advantage there for the Queensland Reds from the kickoff. Lions on the 22. Ben Youngs down to Cooper. Perfectly positioned. It across to Davies. Tackled by Jonathan Davis. Cooper under some pressure. They're now for Frisbee. Robinson went into Warburton. Frisbee pops. Not sure if Anthony Finger was trying to offload that. And the referee. From France, Sharon Gasset says it was forward. So Nick Frisbee pushing it just a little bit harder, and you could see Anthony Fanger just have a bit of a look up to see who was in front. At the collision zone, the Lions are certainly winning that defensively. And you'll get a good sound now with our sound effects microphone very close to this scrum. And you'll hear the engagement. Okay, he's better. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Radiki Samo into the second row. Crush! Touch! Set down the Free kick against the Lions. Taken by Schatz Robinson. They shot it through the hands to midfield. Doubling round is Ben Lucas. Morahan. Nine short of halfway. Cooper. Looked to kick then offloaded to Ross Harrison. Now Quirk. He looked up and saw Vunapala in front. Cooper keeps it low. To hog. The defense on the fullback, a couple short of halfway. And it's looked left. Now right. Now gives it to. Werner Pola, late replacement in the starting team for Geffen Jenkins, who is returning home through injury. Kean Healy, another prop, also returning home. Morahan, cutting back in field and over the 10 metres he goes, he gets the fan going, one to beat, chipping over the top, Luke Morahan, the bounce is good, Morahan is good, it's a try! Wow, one of the best individual tries you've seen this year from Luke Monaghan. Unbelievable. Glenn. He was flat footed. No? I'm too far. 60 metres out and split them up the middle. And then had the vision at the end. He came up against Stuart Hogg, the fullback, had one man to beat. He had no support with him, so really his only option was to chip and chase. They're looking for the grounding. No problem. Try time, Queensland Reds. What a way to hit back. Tim, every time he's touched the ball, he's made something of it. He's been in and around the play, beaten players, kicked, chased hard, and, yeah, made tackles. Glenn, Glenn, you can award the try. Yeah, and Glenn, can, can you watch if there is an obstruction about White? So they're going to go the back red. and look at obstruction. when Luke Morahan by uh, White. caught the ball. There was another okay, player man. next to him. I think he was talking about Ben Lucas. Maybe there was no other players there. He pushed off Sam Warburton. 
the captain, and then chip and chase. Wonderful work from Luke Moran. So the referee's allowed to go back two phases and have a look. Looks like they're just looking just there from Ben Lucas, who just touched Alex Cuthbert. Didn't look like he impeded him that much. Try time. Well, Quade Cooper did make, or didn't waste any time adding the extra two. He's playing on. The bench is pretty happy now. And I reckon Michael O'Connor, the coach of the Australian Sevens team, will be pretty happy as well because he has drafted Luke Morahan into the Australian Sevens team for the Rugby World Cup Sevens in Moscow at the end of the month. Brilliant individual stuff. So it's seven points to three. taking it off to restart. Looked like he was taken out in the air, but it was play on. Now, it's a Lions turn to try and hit back. Youngs gives it down to the big lock from England. Jeff Parling, he turns it over. And Cooper. Here he goes again. Has he got any, any petrol in the tank? This time... They tackle Morahan. Five from halfway. Holmes got it out to Schatz. Quade Cooper. That's better. That's better from Quade Cooper. It just needs Luke Morahan to chase it. <laughs> He's got <laughs> nothing left. He's got nothing left. Still in field. Back to Cooper again. Ten metre mark. Runs it up to the halfway and he tries the chip now for Rod Davies, but it was perfectly read by Farrell and he puts it onto the toe. So getting back there now is Frisbee, 10 out from his own line. And he beats one and then sends it down over halfway and into touch. That's super clearance there, that's fantastic work. You can see that the Lions wingers have come up because there's so many threats out wide from the Reds and now there's find, they're finding space in behind. Move. Really good play from Nick Frisbee. He was patient, showed a lot of maturity. Concern on the sideline too because Tuolangi has left the field. Manuk Tuolangi is off and on for him. It's like it's 23, it is. George North who is positioning himself at outside centre. Yeah, he got a big hit early on, Tuolangi, one of the tackles he made. Five-man line-out lines off the top. And it's Youngs. Ben Youngs goes high. Uh, to Davies. Tommy Bow made the tackle. Cooper. Short ball to nobody. Will it sit up in goal? No, they've kicked it dead. Oh, seven points goes begging for the British and Irish lines. Yeah, Quade Cooper, he was looking for Bo Robinson to come around the outside. Not the position on the field to throw a no-look pass. And in test match footy, they're the ones that can go astray. And that's what Robbie Deans and the selectors are looking for, consistency from Quade Cooper, especially behind your own 22. Gets a chance to reload the gun. Too like he's Davis would really like another attempt at that kick, wouldn't he? Sorry, Sharpie, any report on Manu Tuolangi? Yeah, sorry, that Tuolangi's off the field. Uh, George North takes his place, an even bigger man. So Farrell on his own 10 metre mark. Hogg is chasing. Uh, good solid work under the high ball, and then the Queenslanders lose it. Now Young's to the short side. Cuthbert into the Queensland 22. Penalty against Queensland. You're all fit. All fit. Police. Oh, Luke Moran got turned over in the tackle by Stuart Hogg. And that's where it came from. This is the penalty, but just before this ruck, Luke Moran. Bo Robinson penalised. 
Lions kickers on tour. Uh, 100 percent. And here's another three points. So it was half penny. 11 from 11 in Perth against the Western Force. And two from two so far for Farrell. 7 6. Queensland just in front. Another replacement now for the Queensland Reds. Albert Anne coming onto the field after only 23 minutes of the match. Ben Daly leaving the field. Get a report on him, um, Nathan Sharp, when he comes off to see if it's just a, a substitution or not. It looks like he's uh, there's a bit of word in the camp. He's in his toe somehow. Great. He went high. Good control. Some solid competition, a solid hit out before the first test in a fortnight at this venue against the Wallabies. And they're getting it so far, and Frisbee left it behind, knocked back. Well, that's a tough call. That looked like it was certainly knocked forward. Pressure from George North. Referee from France, as you're going to say. It's a bit of a favour there. And the kick through from Hogg. Quade Cooper getting back. No support there. Finally. Offloads to Takwahi onto the left foot. He draws it long over the head of Cuthbert. Sits up in the field of play. Now Tommy Bow. Will go high, he'll come down just inside. Queensland Territory. It's a penalty. It's against the British and Irish lines. In front of the we stay here. Offside. So he must Sorry. make an effort to retreat and not move forward. Number six, he move. Yeah. Dan Lydiard penalised. And Quade Cooper has missed touch. Six. Little things in the game of rugby can cost you. Nick Frisbee. Over the 10 metre mark now. Cooper. Nowhere to go. Hammered in the end. Frisbee now to Robinson. Jake Schatz. Warburton came through. Playing advantage. Penalty. No advantage. You contest the number nine. Rod Kafer, you're you and Nathan Sharp are right on the sideline there. What's the collision zone like? The massive hits coming in from both teams. Yeah, the Lions being a big team, and in the UK they deal with those one on one off runners really well. They put one or two guys in, and they generally can get a pretty good shot on. But when you see when the Reds put that extra pass in or put a little bit of footwork in with a bit of speed, they, that's when they've been struggling. That that one off running is no good against the Lions tonight. They go long and an overthrow, and it sits up beautifully for Warburton and Farrell offloads. Davis, he's got Bow, and now he's got support. Cuthbert over the halfway. Wasted opportunity again by Queensland. Farrell, and Robinson is there to throw him into touch. Good hands from the British and Irish line, back line, after Sam Warburton stole at the back. Just simple play, drawing the man. Alex Cuthbert's doing some really good work on that right-hand side. So again, good work by the Lions. Farrell out the back door, Davis. Young to Stevens. Harling now. Farrell. Dummy Ying, they fall for it. Owen Farrell. Taken by Frisbee. Pops it up for Werner Bowler. James Hansen has that ball. Great turnover. Terrific stuff by the Queenslanders. And now the crowd asking Craig Cooper to counter. 
Ran out of numbers. Sideways. Yep. Tabwahi. Pay on. Pay on. Stolen by the lines. Cuthbert. Morahead holds on. Vote of Inapola. Stevens. Lydiat. The Lions are getting a really good structure happening now. Farrell. Cuthbert getting involved. Go in, slow. Youngs. Short ball, Gray. Chatting to Graham Roundtree, one of the assistant coaches, who said they've been really working the Lions hard. Great Cooper plays on quickly, Cave. Yeah, they've had a heavy training week, and it's, they look to me like they're blowing a little bit the Lions. The Reds on top. On top of the scoreboard, 7 6. Hogg got it back to North. The offloads to Davis, his Welsh teammate, on the 10 metre mark. Lions territory. Youngs, Hogg with the high kick this time. Straight up in the air, knocked back. And Hanson has it for Queensland, 10 metre mark. Now Quade Cooper, he wants to go left. Schatz, Cooper, there's the left-footed kick and the bounce is good in the end for Hogg, who drills it back down to Cooper. Did well, placed the ball back, Quade Cooper. Lucas, Frisbee, the first receiver. N.A. out the back door to nobody. Quirk gets back to clean up. Claimed immediately by Farrell. Frisbee with the chip, and the bounce is good for O'Donoghue. It's Adam Wallace-Harrison, in fact, the other lock. What was he doing there? Frisbee plays on quickly. And Cooper comes forward, wide ball out now to Davies. They're going to have to support him well here. The Welsh have got two to one. The Lions are holding Advantage is being played, and it is a penalty. He'll come back for a penalty to Queensland. Well, they need to take the points here, Queensland. That's Six red. Dan Lydiard penalised offside. Certainly rushing up in defence, the British and Irish lines. Quade Cooper are receiving some treatment in back play. We'll catch up on that in a moment as we have another look here. Cooper, wide ball out to Davies. That was the time for the chip kick there, Clark. You look at the space in behind. What a ball from Quade Cooper. About 36 metres back. Just to the right of the upright, and he's pushed it out to the left. How costly. Will that be later in this game? We're giving the Reds a four-point lead. Eight minutes to go to half-time. So it's still Queensland seven. British and Irish line six. Yeah, here. yeah certainly, Timmy Horan, that you need to you need to really accumulate a score. You, you, you've got to keep building up. And small chances like that, as you say, you just don't know how that's going to affect the game at the end of the day. If it comes down to goal kicking in the Test Series, you'd have to lean towards the British and Irish lines with the likes of Farrell and Sexton, and in particular, Halfpenny. Let's not forget about James O'Connor or possibly Kirtley Beale as well. Marky. Another turnover from the Reds. And it's Richie Gray to Youngs. Has support, but he holds it. Now he gives it out to North. George North over the 22, fires a beautiful ball back on the inside, Farrell! Oh, did he get it down? Oh, I think he's lost it. Owen Farrell had such a good opportunity. George North was flying. Men, try yes or no? Please. What's the body language say? He, he doesn't seem and that confident, Owen Farrell. No, he told the referee he hasn't scored it, he said he's knocked it on. 
Oh, all he had to do was roll. I'm not sure who it was. Kafe, who came across last-ditch tackle from the Queensland Reds. But George North was flying. Is that Luke Morahan again? There it is there, Luke Morahan. There, he's knocked it out. So that's play on. And as long as one of the Reds players gets their hands on it. and grounded it. There's no doubt about that. I okay. lost forward. OK. Well, television match official from New Zealand, Glenn Newman, says it was lost forward by Farrell. So, no try. They're making a couple of breaks now. That's about the third one in this match on the left-hand side of the field, George North. Stay Turnover to me, they're really looking to shift that ball and get it to their big wingers. As the games wear on, that size and speed Gosh. is going to come even more. Listen to this crowd roar as Chats picks it up at number eight. Oh, stolen! Oh, it's stolen! And we're going to go upstairs again. Now, Young's this time is claiming a try. Well, Young's he stole from Jake Chats, but then in the process, I reckon he's knocked it forward. No by the number nine, Red, please. He's claimed it. He's uh, claimed yeah, it to everyone he's... else. <laughs> it was good work from Ben Youngs. Plays his rugby in England for Leicester. Ripped it out there. Well, I don't know. That's... I don't know, Rod Kafer. Give me your call. Try. Yeah, he's ripped it out in one motion. But then it's gone and then he's touched towards... It. He's touched it with his foot. Yeah. It's gone towards the... Opposition try line though. So what's that deemed? Well, who, who, Lost about, forward. Look, it's all about who had the ball last there. There is no clear knock on, so a try can be awarded. Thank you. <laughs> try to the British and Irish lines to Ben Youngs. One on one steal. His first try for the Lions. Wonderful pressure from his forward pack. He put enormous pressure at the back of the scrum. Yeah, the, the Reds, they're under pressure on their five middle line. They had the right idea. They had a quick heel, a quick strike. The ball went straight to the number eight. Shats did the right thing by, by getting off, breaking from that scrum early. It's just a shame he didn't hold on to that ball, otherwise that clearance would have been okay. Nonetheless, an extra seven points. It's over again from Farrell, so it is 13 points to seven. The Lions over Queensland at Suncorp Stadium. That's a big blow just before half-time, five minutes before half-time. The Reds have had the pace of this game well and truly up to fifth gear, but the Lions have hung in there. Jake Schatz will be disappointed with that effort. Stealing that one out of the hands of Frisbee. Greg Holmes it is that's receiving some treatment after the restart. See Greg Holmes make a tackle here on Davis. Just cop one in the face. Oh, Claret coming out straight away. So four minutes remaining in the first half. Critical scrum here. Holmes, he's just gone off. Tight edge. Come on, mate. Touch. Great Lucas. scrum, the Reds. Great Cooper, the double round. Now he hands it off to Wallace Harrison. Good tackle, Richie Gray, one on one. to bounce. 
this field goes George North. Doesn't matter because he has opened them up. Dummy beating players left, right and centre. Out to his Welsh captain, the Lions captain, Warburton. He's trying out with this injured leg. Not a bad workout for it. Did he get it down, though? Must be close. Sam Warburton. Oh, George North. He has opened them up like a can of sardines. Quade Cooper came across quickly at the end. So did Nick Frisby to captain Sam Warburton. What a run. Glenn. We'll go upstairs George again. Yes or no? George North, brilliant. Yeah. He had he got the ball just behind his 22. The well, arrow that's the, infield. <laughs> that's the furthest run that he has made all tour. That's going to test his knee out. See Quade Cooper. Last stitch tackle, I think, with Ben Tapaway. He or might be Anthony Fanger. Now it's not grounded there. It's on Cooper's leg. And it's still in the air. Still in the air. Ooh, did they hold it up in the end? Looks like they have. That's going to be hard to give. There is no evidence. Yeah. The ball will be held up. Scrum five metres. OK. Held up as the call. Terrific scrambling defence by the Queenslanders, but gee. Kay, what did you think? George North, he just positioned himself well at the end there. He stepped about three players through the break and then he had to position Sorry. Sam Warburton to run yeah. through. Sharp, he reckons he looks like a, a horse when he runs George North. That's how <laughs> big a stride length he's got. He really stretches out. Difficult to, to pull down, can step out of tackles. Powerful guy, Sharpie. Oh, I thought it was at Flemington for a second there, Kate. Crucial scrum, this one. Very important part of the game. 13-7. I would love another try. Just to try and dampen the enthusiasm of the Queenslanders. It's trapped at the back. The referee blows the whistle. He's going to give the Lions the put-in again. Sweet. Great scrum from the Reds there. They knew that there would be pressure coming from the Lions, and they counted. I think they thought they might have had a turnover there, but they're going to have to do it again because we know what the Lions will do. They will want to go for a pushover or a penalty at the very least. Sharp in some ways, probably a, a better scrummaging front row at the moment. Certainly a bit more timber up front with um, Owens and Anna and with Chipper Hansen in the middle. Yeah, certainly some, some big boys up the front there. You also notice that uh, there's traditional locks on there. We had DK in the second yeah, well, row for a little while for the Reds there. And yeah, certainly sure. DK hasn't played in the second row since I think the 2004 Brumby days. You watch Ben Lucas, the fullback, has gone into halfback now. I reckon Toby Fallatow, number eight for the British and Irish Lions, has seen that. I reckon they'll try and push this through and he'll have a crack on the left hand side if they don't get clean ball. Crash! Touch! Young's with the put in. Here's the shove from the lines. It's loose. Penalty. Penalty against Queensland. If I was Sam Warburton, I'd go for another scrum. Yeah, good call. They've got the pressure on the Queensland Reds at the moment. Fallatow wants to push over try. No, no. Keep it together, please. See the British and Irish Lions back line. The centre's very close together. Owen Farrell there at 10. Jonathan Davis has been really strong. Crouch. Touch. Set. Youngs puts it in again. Great scrum for the Reds there. They've counted very well. It pops out the side. Been turned over the Reds have it. Anthony Fanger goes into scrum half. And it's Tapwahi under the left foot and safely in the touch. If the Lions get there quick enough, they'll get one more line out, one more crack just before half time. That's a great, great defensive scrum from the Reds there. If they had this line out, you could almost be certain that they will 
attempted driving wall here. Look to either drive over or go for the penalty. Tom Young is just having a chat to Marco Vunapola. Last throw of the dice in the first half for the British and Irish lines. And it's a good two-headed take from Paulie. Youngs has it at the back. Look at Ben Youngs, the halfback, pushing his forward pack on. They break away now. Here's Ben Youngs. Stops, waits for the support to arrive. Trapped about seven metres out. By Robinson coming through. So have to be careful with their discipline here as well because we know the Lions kickers can slot them over from anywhere. Now it's Falatau. Stevens. Robinson. Great defence in the Reds here. Plenty of Lions in at that breakdown. Still some work to do, though. Now it's Farrell Davis. Youngs to his brother, Tom Youngs. Oh, and there's the penalty coming away if they want it, the Lions. Yeah, Anthony Fanger. Was it Ben Tapawai in there late? Yeah, it was Ben Tapawai. You want your tackler? You must release. Sometimes when you get caught in that situation, you get lost in the heat of the moment. He, he looked like he had all rights to the ball there, but well, Sharp, he, he made the tackle. You're right, but then he had to release the player he, to he, have a crack at the ball. That's exactly right. So you can see there, but he, as, he, as I say, say to him, he's in the heat of the moment. He'd be thinking, "Oh, I'm, I'm a chance. I'm a chance here." He, he might have heard the referee, or he hasn't adhered to the rules. And that's cost his team probably three points the way the Lions kickers are kicking. Farrell ends the extra three. Very timely indeed. So he's fourth from four in the kicking department of the first half. And at half time at Suncorp Stadium, the British and Irish Lions are leading the Queensland Reds by 16 points to seven. Second half underway. Grizzly in Brisbane. Richie Gray is so good at the restart, so good under the high ball, the big number four. Down now to Tapawahi. Two minds, Tapawahi got himself in trouble. Taken by Vunapola. Now it's Quade Cooper kicking across now for Morahan. Perfect kick, and Morahan ran out of room. No, that was well done from Stuart Hogg. He shadowed Luke Morahan across the field and showed him the sideline. It didn't allow Luke Morahan any chance to step back inside. Pinpoint kick from Quade Cooper, though, stretching yeah, the yeah. game out. Don't, yeah, don't worry. Sideline, Nathan Sharp and Rod Caper. Again, good okay, intent by the Queenslanders, mixing it up. Of course, uh, you know, moving their wingers around is really important. It opens up space to attack. And Quake Cooper's passed and kicked to the wingers. As we see the lines again for Richie Gray winning in the middle. Youngs goes high. Morahan. Oh, and he can't control that one. Under a bit of pressure from Fernatau, so they can go wide now. And Bo looked to straighten. Ben Lucas made the tackle. Pops up for Youngs. Short ball to his brother. That's the 22, Queensland Territory. Stevens, South African born prop. Out of test retirement to make this tour. Farrell. Davis. Really running onto it. No penetration there. A little bit flat footed. Youngs, Farrell, Hogg from fullback. Taken by Robinson. Front rowers combining. Stevens onto Vunapola. Youngs, Farrell. Now he goes wide to Davis. 
And Tommy Bow on the angle run. Hansen made the tackle. Good structure now, though, by the Lions. Six or seven metres out. They're patient. That's what's good. Ben Young's getting some runners, options. Tom Young's. Harling waits for it. Gives it out to Falatau. now chance of a turnover but they lost it the Queenslanders Youngs has it goes back to North Farrell now there's a chance of a turnover there it is for the Queensland Reds. Nick Frisby at the back. Well done, Reds. Davis getting back. The chase is pretty good. He had nowhere to go. Great defence from Queensland there. The Lions just didn't have much structure, didn't have much shape. That may be a, a little bit of a, bit, a little bit of lack of cohesion. You know, a number of guys coming together. Not too sure what sort of structure they need to go to in that sort of scenario. They certainly haven't been tested like that in any of the previous two games. Well, Luke Morahan left the field. Dom Shipley replaces him on the left wing. Morahan didn't look to be running all that freely. It's amazing how the phases of the Lions got through. 17 phases of play. Tabahi. Be to Cooper inside ball. Holmes lays it back. Rosby again. Cooper flicks it out the back door. And here's a replacement. Chipley. Holmes. Frisbee. Chats pops it up. Frisbee. Just trying to shovel the ball there. Huge numbers to the left, the British and Irish lines, if they can move it. A scrub advantage, and Warburton gets it back down to Farrell. Looking for territory. And it's rolling towards the touch. It's a great kick by the young fly half. Smart play from Owen Farrell in these type of conditions. <laughs> Putting the ball in front of your forwards and playing some field position. Tommy Bow on the right wing is now leaving the field. Jonathan Sexton on in jumper number 22. Tommy Bow, we're looking closely at his right wrist or thumb. A little bit of concern shown for him. He's been out for a long time with a hamstring injury. Back in the side. Free kick goes against the Lions. So restructured so, back line, Tim. We'll have to see where Sexton slots in when 10 or 12. I'd say he'd slot him at 10. Makes the tackle there. And Owen Farrell will be outside of him and inside centre. Kick from Ben Lucas, who was hammered after he kicked it. But play on is the call. It's the sort of game you'd expect to see from the Lions in this type of conditions. Ball in behind. Set piece pressure. Try and score delivery. And if there's a mistake, capitalise on it. It's probably not a bad call, actually. Through injury, though, bringing Johnny Sexton on, but you now have two Take first receivers and two players Please. who can put the ball in behind. Stay here. Ben Lucas on his unfavoured left foot, cops a hit. No one foul, not much in it. So the Reds with some work to do. Stay. Cooper, not out. North to Hogg. Cuthbert. Good tackle, Fanga. Parling, played by Holmes. Stay. 
Penapola. Johnny Sexton now slots in at first receiver. Still forward runners. Stevens, he loses it. Robinson gives it to Hanson. Looking even slippery out there now. Oh, as I mentioned, slippery. They're having trouble controlling it. Well, that was the time where Quade Cooper had a heap of room to his left-hand side down deep. And I know they want to play an up-tempo game and keep the ball in hand, but that was the time to put the ball down into the Lions 22 and not risk any plays like this. Good hit from Jeff Parling, who's been superb in defence. On, uh, on Adam Wallace Harrison. Looks up to the skies. Free kick against the Reds. Falatau takes it quickly. Got rid of Frisbee. Ann Robinson. Great run by the number eight. Youngs for the polo. It's taken by Quirk. Shot ball to Farrell. Owen Farrell. Tackled by Robinson. Tackle had to be made, but it's still on. Down to the left they go, and they lose it forward, but we're going to come back. Great advantage there. Six. Not rolling Go away. away. Tucker, so an opportunity for points in the Six second away. half for the British and Irish lines. Yeah, Ed Quirk caught at the back, I think Shop. it was. Shop. Shop. Gee, they're starting to pick the tempo up themselves, the British and Irish lines. Yeah. You can see Ed Quirk not rolling away there at the back. You have to make an attempt to roll away to allow the halfback. And then Ben Young's going across field and picking up Owen Farrell straight through the middle. I think it's good to see that Warren Gatlin's left his starting forward pack on the field, Sharpie. Farrell. Pinpoint accuracy yet again by the Lions kickers. So it's 19 points to seven. Yeah, it's a real shame the rain started to get a little bit heavier because it hasn't allowed Quade Cooper and his back line to function. But as you say, Sharpie, he's got to be able to adapt to the conditions that are there. Well taken from George North at the restart. He's about 20 metres out from his own line. The Lions have done a good job. They were able to withstand that onslaught by the Queenslanders early on, and they just managed to keep the scoreboard ticking over with a breathing space now. Tapwahi waits. Cross to Quade Cooper. Shipley. Speed to burn. The gap soon closed, taken by Richie Gray. Advantage coming up here for Queensland. McDonough here goes to ground. Now it's Bo Robinson. Oh, they were waiting for Henson. Nothing happening there, so we're going to come back for the penalty. Craig Cooper looking to play on quickly, and he does. Davies, good tackle by Stevens, pops out the back door for SB to Cooper. Putting on some footwork, offloading now to Holmes. Ball goes forward. They had their time over again. So they put it into touch and played the line out because North can make them pay this time they get hold of him and it's gone forward. Yeah, but after he's offside, accidentally offside, he touched the ball. Okay, okay. What a tackle, James Hanson. He had to get across to make that. the ball with your feet, but number three, 23 is offside, accidentally. On George North. Yeah, great tackle from James Hanson there. You can just see how wet the ball is getting. Sorry. Yeah. You know it's a, the, the ball's greasy when guys are taking it into a two-man tackle and it's just getting squirted out the top. Now the opportunity for the Reds back with the ball. And it is difficult sometimes when you set pieces under pressure. You can't really kick for the corners too often. So the Reds have got to keep it in hand. I understand that. They need to keep playing. Cooper gave it to Harris first touch and he knocks it on. Oh, it was on to... Short ball because they've had some decoy plays in the game. Mike Harris playing it inside centre now. 
yeah. ball was on too. You could watch Owen Farrell start to drift across field because he was worried about Rod Davies coming through. Might have been offside as well. Yeah, it's the old sucker, sucker punch play there, isn't it, Timmy? They, they've been going wide, wide, wide. The lines are getting hesitant about letting them get outside, then they're starting to drift, and then all of a sudden those holes can open up nice and tight. Crush. Touch. Set. Youngs puts it in. Fellatow. Youngs. Got away from the tackle of Quirk. Warburton. So far, so good for the tour captain. The leg injury. Doesn't appear to be an issue. Vunapola. Vunapola, he's been really strong tonight. So has Matt Stevens. And the referee. Bo Robinson knocked out. Yeah, he blew the whistle immediately and called for some assistant from the sideline. So Bo Robinson running into Vunapola. Yeah, Vunapola and Matt Stevens. Matt Stevens from the Saracens Club in the UK in London. They've really worked well together. I think they've paired up, both those two, and also Richie Gray and Jeff Parling as well. Look at it here. Oh, on the jaw. Gee. Straight on the jaw for poor old Bo Robinson. Oh, that might have been a cheekbone there. Oh, I hope Bo Robinson's OK. He's such a tough rooster. And he's been one of the finds a couple of years ago when he was pouring beers in a local pub in Brisbane. And got an opportunity from coach Ewan McKenzie to trial with the Queensland Reds. Looked like Bo Robinson there had come to going off in the Medicab. So that's good news. Crouch. The line's down. Touch. Big line out to the left. Nick Sabo is on the field. So too is uh, Jared Butler. It's all Queensland. There's the high ball from Sexton. Putting some pressure on Cooper. Great work by Cooper. Played it back for Dabwai. Wide ball and Davies. Couldn't control that one. Right idea. Went with it. Keep it close to the touchline. The option was for the kick there as well from Nick Frisby. Got Thought he'd have a little shot here. You can see he's unmarked. Northcourt looking a little bit in. Ben Young's probably had it covered in the end. Will Guinea to play, but he loves down a real short blind side. Reds now just struggling consistently no, to get out of their own no. half. They've lost four of their own throws. Numbers white. Expect to see it. The driving play here. Gee, he's been strong, Jeff Parling tonight. Line out time, both on his own ball and on the red throw. Well, good field position for the British and Irish lines. 25 metres out, warming it. Young Sexton, this is Davis. Taken by the number 20, Jared Butler. Oh, and there's a slight knock on in there, so this uh, drizzle. And it's made life difficult for these two teams that came out showing great intent in the first half. It was held to skelter at times. Rain gets a little bit heavier. Somehow they've got to get out of their own half, whether it's run the ball and attack and make a break and bend the defensive line. And Craig Cooper must kick long and actually try and get the lines behind their own 22 so they can put some pressure on them. Frisbee, Cooper. The back to Frisbee and oh, it's a forward pass. So that's two mistakes on that right hand side in a matter of a minute. First phase defense from the Lions has actually been very good. They're disciplined. They keep themselves very square. Look at them there, just jostling all players really well positioned. Warburton's had a good game defending around the edges, also giving a lot of confidence to his inside backs. Let's see how they go and attack right here. Touch. Free kick. Early White. But it's Larry's lines. Fell a tower. Oh, and he can't control the ball either. Advantage White. Here's Quade Cooper. Advantage 
Advantage is over. Davis holds on to Cooper. Did want to control the ball there, Quade Cooper, and not throw a pass that wasn't on. Holmes, the rush up on him. Sexton in there. No, it wasn't, it was Farrell. Does your ball. Does it on the offside. And the Scrum. ruck. The Reds yeah. feed to the scrum. Yep, accidental offside. They're really making a mess, aren't they, Nathan Sharp, at breakdown time to make sure that that ball isn't on a platter Michael for White. Nick Frisbee and trying Michael. to slow that game part yeah, of the game Raleigh. down. Yeah, yeah once, once they identify that the ball's not coming quickly for the Reds, they're really trying to get through and make a nuisance of themselves. And you can see there, Alan Farrell, he, he was trying to wade through and kick the ball out of the, the base of the Queensland Reds ruck. That's something that's not often seen down here in the Southern Hemisphere, but a, a core that's really used well up, up north, particularly in these sort of Dow wet weather games. Chats to Frisbee and Cooper kicking across for Davies, and oh, he just couldn't drag it in. Oh, well weighted kick from Quade Cooper, though. Davies was away, Stuart Hogg was coming across defensively. Just a couple of little plays just aren't coming off for the Queensland Reds to get out of their own half. To me, one of the things that he, Rod Davis could do to really help himself would be to start on the touchline on the, on the touch yeah. or even outside the field of play. Some of the great chases of rugby kicks start themselves on the touchline, even run outside, and then come back in and can attack the ball, and they're running towards the ball. Yeah. He found himself with the ball going away from him, trying to catch up to it. That's really difficult to take it. Fallatow towed through Warburton. Quaid Cooper, did he carry it back? No. Coming back to the 22 for a restart. And Quaid looking to go long. Hog lets it bounce. Lucas underneath. Takes it well. Gives it to Quaid Cooper. Tapwahi. Harris did well to hold on. Yeah, Stuart Hogg came back in defence. Turnover. Terrific stuff again by the lines of the breakdown. Lydiot goes into scrum half. Gives it down to Fallatow. Cooper held on to one boot to slow him. And here's the kick over the top for Cuthbert. But it's very big and it's going to... set up and go. We'll come back to the 22 again. Gee, I reckon both these teams are going to sleep well tonight, Clarkie. At the moment, all the forwards for the British and Irish Lions are still on the field after 61 and a half minutes of the game. Quay Cooper, quick 22 restart. Frisbee. And now N.A. dummying. Taken by Stevens. Chats out the back door to the playmaker, to the captain tonight, Quade Cooper. He sends it down the middle of the park. Hold. One word. And a touch. So 18 minutes remaining. The British and Irish Lions led Queensland by 16 to 7 at the break. 19 7 now with James Horwell trying to rally his troops from the sideline. Because of Chandler Ball. In many ways, it's a bit of a shame that this rain came tonight because, as you say to me, a lot of tired forwards out there. They've still got the starting forward pack out there. Yeah. You'd love to see a bit more... Uh, or both teams have the ability to throw the ball around a bit more with some more freedom. They go short, the uh, Reds, and it pays off. Just. Lydia coming through, counter-rucking. Therefore, Frisbee... Quade Cooper pass to Harris on halfway. There's so much rugby this year, Mike Harris. Good to see him back out there. Good short ball to Lucas. Yeah, and over the 10 metre, and then they lose it. That was uh, Ben Lucas, and now the turnover. And here's North. George North kicking, chasing, and it's going to beat them into touch. But he had a foot on the line. 
Ben Lucas is down and back by receiving some treatment. They take it quickly through Shipperley. Still going. <laughs> a terrific advertisement for the tour. And now Rod Davies. He's got a man on the inside. And it's Frisbee. And it's Queensland scoring. They're back in it. Well, they will keep going, the Queensland Reds. Keep playing this expansive game. Tempo game in these type of conditions is brilliant. Oh, Nick Frisbee started it down the short side. He had one that didn't quite come off when he tried to find Rod Davies on the sideline. That time it did. Frisbee ran a beautiful support line as well. He just passes the ball over the top and he heads downfield. And now he's hit, you know he's hit his fastest man in the squad. Frisbee ran a beautiful support line down the middle. He started it and he finished it. It's great vision from, from, from the half back there. Yeah, Matt Stevens coming off. Youngs and Vernapola and Mike Harris taking over the kicking duties to the right of the uprights. There's the angle for him. And oh. he's hit the uprights and he has missed it. Well. So 19 the Reds. points to 12. Yeah. That would have made a difference. Yeah. Plenty of replacements coming on. Tom Young's wonderful performance from him. Also, Richie Sorry. Gray replaced as well. Sorry. Can you wait, please? So, Paul O'Connell on. The clock. There he is, ex Lions captain. Okay. Dan Cole is on there at 17. The blonde surf, surfy looker like is Richard Hibbard. George North so strung off the restart. So the Lions will be stung into action, but they lose it. And Lucas gives it now to Craig Cooper. Dummying. Picks up Greg Holmes, who's been really working hard in the three jersey for the Reds. Now Cooper wants to play it at the other end. Hog. Did he knock that forward? Yes, he did. He looked up, he could see Rod Davies flying at him. He had a big Captain Cook. The crowd Davies really getting to this game. on quickly. He won't be allowed. It has to come back. The crowd's got a sniff down here. They see that 14 minutes to go. Scrum 10 minutes. 10 metres out from the lines. Try line. Just had a bit of a look. Slippery for Stuart Hogg, the Scottish fullback. The youngest player on the lines, two up. Just 20 years of age. <laughs> and Lucas will try to milk a free kick here. Won't be in a hurry to put the ball in. He knows the lines will want to get a big hit. O'Connell and the new men in the tight five will want to get an early hit. I want to put pressure on Ken Lucas, milk a free kick. Good Reds back line there, spread out. They won't die wondering. His scrum is critical for them. Lucky, just from the back. Well, they have it, the Reds. Seven or eight metres out. Quite Cooper saying to Ben Lucas, take it on, I don't want it yet. Shats. Really right the way through there. Clarky, really difficult to hold the ball in these conditions. And Samo, the crowd roars every time he touches the ball. They'd like to see him in more space, though, I think. And Donnie Hugh out to Lucas. Here's Cooper giving it on the inside to Davies. Good tackle from Parling. Great Cooper. They rushed up and shut him down. Good work from Davis, and they pile through. And it's a turnover. Good work at the breakdown by the Lions. Yeah, Dan Collar was the replacement prop that came on. Good counter rucking. 11 minutes remaining. Lions leading 19 points to 12. The Reds have missed an easy conversion. And go back to a relatively easy penalty attempt early in the first half. The missed as well. Ben Lucas down in back play again. 
Which number? I'll tell you what, Timmy Sharpie just dropped that kick cold next to me. <laughs> oh. I thought he had good hands, he's just built the boots. Very greasy ball down here, I can tell you, everyone. <laughs> so the moment, they might have to stop the game for Ben Lucas in back play. Craig Cooper just telling the referee that it's, it's the scrum half, we need him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, as Warren Gatlin would require from his bench, they made a little bit of difference when they've come on. Dan Cole, Paul O'Connell. A bit more spark defensively. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, Lucas here. It's going in awkwardly there. Oh, maybe a stomp on the back of the head, maybe, unfortunately. Yeah, the big number 18, Adam Jones, landing on top of him there. He's giving the thumbs up, which is always a good sign. So there's still time here for the Queensland Reds there. Throw to the line out, a shorter line out, five man line out. James Hansen to throw the ball in. Quade Cooper trying to work some magic out wide. Oh, there's plenty of time for both teams. Wherever you're watching, we hope you're enjoying the British and Irish Lions tour. That's about the third or fourth line out steal from Jeff Parling tonight. Yeah, great work. They've outclassed the. Queenslanders at line out time and now they're looking to make them pay for the mistake but it's gone backwards and so Hogg gives it now to Davies. Cooper slide him. Young's Hibbard. And he has lost it. Look on his red after look on white. Well that's uh, good to see Bo Robinson on the bench. Got to get to the other end of the field. You struggle to go 80, I reckon, Tim, to score. Yeah. Oh, short arm penalty. British and Irish Lions will go back for another scrum, I'd say. That's amazing. Incorrect feed. Incorrect feed. Not putting it in the middle. Number nine put the ball in the second row. You don't see much of that anymore in international rugby. Well, it's costly. Yeah. The frisbee. Well, pretty well, certainly didn't go in the middle, did it? Maybe a pretty fair call. Set. So a pass mark. Youngs. Davis. Oh, Youngs is through. No support though. Harris drags him down from behind. He's lost it for Youngs. Quade Cooper right. in goal. Got it out to Hanson. And Hanson has been called back. Oh, called back for a forward pass. And he was away. He wouldn't have run the length of the field. <laughs> He's had a great game tonight, Shiva. I would have backed him from there, Timmy. Forward pass. The assistant referee on the far side has called it. It looked pretty good from Quade Cooper. He was trying to find someone hitting a straight angle. So you can play. Oh, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Quade Cooper was taken out as he was passing the ball, which made it look worse. Call coming from the far side. Assistant referee, Glenn Jackson. Touch. Set. Red's put in. Chance gives it down to uh, Harris. Try and hold him up. Cooper trying. It's a good tackle from Lydia, though. And it pops out the back. Went backwards, so it's okay. Vintage white, no call by Red. Can they go coast to coast score? This is young Jared Butler. Hanson running into Tipperick in 20. It's a really good defensive structure from the British and Irish Lions. Spread across the field. Sabo over the advantage line. 
chats. McConnell stands over the top and tries to steal it. Penalty holding on. They might be able to put it out of reach here. The Lions. Paul O'Connell, it was number 19. He was the captain of the British and Irish Lions on the last two up. And when you play that sort of game from the Queensland Reds, attacking from behind your own 22, when you get isolated, that's going to happen to you. They are still 100% the Lions kickers. The lead is now 10. Reserves. They knew how important that kick was to give them that little buffer. Ten-point buffer, now three minutes left. Quade Cooper restarts. And it's been knocked, no, lost forward. Yeah. So the Reds. Oh, no, but LA. Yeah. Wasn't that a good performance from him? Still haven't lost a test match on Queensland soil. It's seven-zip. Two losses over the many years in Queensland, 1899 and 1971. Penalty to Queensland. Quade Cooper goes across, tap and go, as he's done most of the match, plays on quickly. And Samo. They need to score twice. Butler was hit heavy by Hibbert. Frisbee. Now Sabo. Eighteen is John Owen. Oh, steamrolling. Good run by the replacement prop. Tip Rick's got that. It's a penalty. It's a penalty in Frisbee. They're going to tap and go. Takes it quickly. Gives it to Cooper. Now Harris. They raced up and shut him down. It was good work by Sexton. Driving him back towards the 22. Now Samo. Through the dummy. They didn't fall for him. There are some tired players on both sides. One minute to go in this game. Donahue. Is it? They've cleared the bench. Sam Denny is on there also in 17 for Queensland. On a moment for that youngster, or that uh, debutante rather, not so young, plucked out of club rugby to play against the British and Irish Lions. Sam Denny, well done. Gross. 59 to 8 over the Barbarians, 69 to 17 over the Western Force. And now they've just got to put it into touch as the siren sounds and Youngs bangs it into the crowd. A crowd of over 50,000 at Suncorp Stadium. And the British and Irish Lions have won it. They led 16-7 at half-time. Outscored two tries to one by Queensland, but the kickers, the boot of Farrell, did the job for the Lions. Full-time British and Irish Lions have beaten the Reds 22 points to 12.